Hey guys, it's the wellness doctor, Dr. Jeffrey Clark from Marketplace Chiropractic Wellness Center. And today I want to talk to you about life expectancy. And life expectancy is, is the average of how long we can expect to live. And in the United States, you know, it's a little bit under 80 years, it's about 78.8 years, but that number is actually going down for the second year in a row. And normally we've been seeing this trend where we're living longer and longer and longer. So the average life expectancy uh, is going up. And, and yet, in 2016, it went down. And in 2015, it went down. Now, the data for 2017, that won't be crunched for another, you know, 6, 8, 10, 12 months. Uh, but we see two years in a row of a decrease in our life expectancy. Why is that? Well, you know, the last time we saw two years in a row was 1961 and 62. Uh, that's over 50 years ago. Only once in U.S. history have we seen three years in a row, and that was during the Great Flu epidemic or the worldwide pandemic uh, in the 1917, 1918, 1919. And so uh, if we see three years in a row, that's going to be statistically uh, important because it tells us that our system truly is broken, but we know it's broken. We don't have a healthcare system. I mean, look at America. We spend the most on our quote-unquote healthcare. We have more prescription medication than most other countries in the world put together. So if we spend the most on uh, medicine and we have the most pills and drugs and we're not the healthiest, well, what does that tell you? That that does not work. And we know it's broken, and we know it doesn't work, and it doesn't matter if you're a Democrat or a Republican, all the people arguing about how to pay for the sickness care model, the model is broken. What we need is people to take responsibility. We look at why we're so sick. It's our lifestyle. It's how we think, how we eat, how we move. We're in a high-stress environment 24-7, it seems like. Uh, we don't get the proper exercise. We have... Uh, various stressors, the physical, the chemical, and the mental stress. We live in a very, very toxic environment. And finally, we have a food chain that has nothing to do with food. We have uh, processed meat that's full of antibiotics and hormones. We have fruits and vegetables that oftentimes are just sprayed with pesticides and herbicides. We have genetically modified foods, and that's the closest thing to the real food. Then we have all this processed synthetic fake food uh, that we're putting into our body and poisoning ourselves. No wonder our life expectancy is going down. It's because we're not fitting the model of health and wellness by changing how we eat, how we think, how we move, which is what we need to do if you want to live to a ripe old age. Now, what happened during the flu pandemic in 1917, 1918, 1919 is chiropractors actually were treating these patients, these people who were sick, and they were getting better. We're not saying that chiropractic is treatment for the flu, but if you have a clear nervous system, if your brain cells and body tissue cells can talk to each other, then your body can function. The flow of innate intelligence that regulates and controls everything can do its job. In fact, after the flu pandemic, uh, the medical establishment wanted to give chiropractors honorary medical degrees. And of course, you know, we told them where they could shove that. Uh, why would we want to mimic a system that was broken in 1918 and is still broken a hundred years later? So if you want to live a healthy life, you need to get off the medical model. Don't think about symptoms and disease and sickness. Think about the expression of health and what can I do to express my optimum health and wellness. And you have to put good, clean, organic, whole food into your body. You have to exercise and get everything moving. You have to free the mind of all the clutter and the stress. I mean, turn your TV off, take some time, go outside, do some breathing, do some yoga, uh, detoxify your system, stop putting toxins in, and then work to get the toxins out that are already there. And by all means, make sure you have regular chiropractic care for the right reason, to keep your nervous system clear so that the innate intelligence of the body can express itself fully and do the job that it was intended to do from above down inside out because that's where true health comes from and it doesn't come from anywhere else. It doesn't come from a pill, a lotion, or a potion. So uh, throw, I'm not going to tell you to throw away your prescription drugs, but just know that that's not creating health. That's not creating wellness. Uh, 
and don't buy into the, the sickness and the, the flu shots and the, the flu season and everything else. That's just an indication that your body is out of balance and they're trying to sell you something to make money because they know that you will then become part of that machine over and over and over again. So keep your mind clear, keep your body clear, keep your immune system and your nervous system clear. Support a regular chiropractic regimen uh, from a wellness standpoint, not from the back pain insurance model that's broken and doesn't work, that's part of that other, other system. So that's what we can do to increase our own life expectancy by not playing the medical game because the system's broken. Don't be a part, don't be a cog in that wheel. So that was a lot. Thanks for listening. Peace out. See you next time.